Hi, I'm Kevin and I'm going to show you how to scan using barcodes. So the first thing we're going to do is to open up Document Capture Pro. Again, we're using the Epson DS790WN. Uh, this case, I'm using it uh, via USB. I've got some documents here which are invoices, and I'm going to want to scan those. But I want to take advantage of the barcodes that we've got. So these are some pre-made buttons that I've created. If I wanted to create a new button in Document Capture Pro, I'd simply start with new job but actually I want to show you a button that I've already uh, created and we'll go through the settings so I'm going to go to edit and you can see here I've already named this scan job auto naming batch processing I can rename it if I want to I want to use the ADF uh, the double-sided um, quite often I would leave the um, document scan size to um, to auto but I've chosen A4 I've also chosen black and white and I'm also going to leave the document rotation on auto as ever I've got some choices but I want to leave my document scan in 300 dpi and I always like to have my text enhancement and document skew enabled along with skip blank page if I don't want it I can turn it off but I'm going to leave that on so that's the first part of section one complete Moving on to the save section two, this is where we're going to use the barcode to automatically dynamically name the um, scans for us. So I'm going to go in to the uh, file name components and choose barcode. I like to put an underscore in after that. And just to show that it's today that I've done the scanning, we're going to use the timestamp as well. Um, always go in and you can double check the formatting of a lot of these. I like to have the day, month and then year. And then you can see a little um, uh, view of what that's going to look like above. Again we've got many options of what we can save as. I am going to save as a PDF but this time what I want to do is to make sure that a searchable PDF is created. So I'm just going to make sure that that is clicked on. I've got a few other options uh, we could go through in here. I'm just going to leave the default ones in place for the moment. Um, now the other bit that we want to do is to make sure that we also use the barcode not only to name the documents but also to separate one document from another because I've put a mixture of documents in all with um, uh, barcodes on. I can use separation uh, with various options. I could use blank page for example and then I could choose every time Document Capture Pro sees a blank page that that's what we use to separate one document from another but because we've got barcodes on all of the facing pages on these invoices I'm going to use barcode again if you want to you can go in a bit more detail and choose specific barcodes that you want to recognize I normally leave those in the standard default settings um, then what do I want to do once the um, scans have been done I've got various options uh, I'm simply going to ask Document Capture Pro to open up the folder that the scans have been saved to so I can have a look. OK, so we've now uh, created the button. I'm going to press the button now and this will process all three pages of the document. And this is going to take a little bit of time because it's doing a whole load of different things. So firstly, we are uh, scanning every single A4 page. We're converting it to black and white. We are also creating a searchable PDF. We're also then dynamically naming the document uh, based on what the barcode is. And then we're also using that barcode to separate one document from another. So it's doing an awful lot of things. And you can see uh, because of the barcode um, and the timestamp naming, I know the documents at the front are the ones that I've just created. So here we've got a two page document. It's turned it into black and white. Um, we've got both sides um, saved. That is the barcode number and you can see that is the document name at the top. So that is dynamically named. It is also a searchable PDF so I can copy this information out or I can use a third party application to extract that data. Um, obviously I can search for it there. That's the, the word thermal and we had a few iterations of that. The next document, we've got our um, barcode starting with PO. Again, that's the name of the document. Again, it's a searchable PDF. So all of this information 
is extractable. There we go, and that's how easy it is to scan uh, using barcodes in Document Capture Pro.